Hi, my name is Clancy. I'm an artist and producer, and I just released my debut album, Daydreaming. So what we're doing is we're deconstructing every single one of the songs in the album. We already covered Looking at the Sun when I dropped that as a single. We already covered the first track of the album, Blame It On Me. And now we're covering the second track on the album, one of the first singles I released for the album, Pointless Race. So let me get ready. Thing that's all right it's pretty late right now right now it's almost 1 a.m and i have to wake up early tomorrow but this is the only chance i got to record this video so that's why i'm being like a little bit quieter than usual i don't really have much to say about how this song came about at least like the first idea i just remember uh working on the demo i, I was just like kind of like making a loop i was just making a beat out of it and i think my idea for it was just to follow up with the whole 80s synth pop that i had in my head at the time but also make it very bright and very glitchy i forgot to say if you haven't listened to the song you can find it up here there's also a music video for it which i worked very hard on so yeah go check it out so we can start with the drums so we got four layers of drums right now if you've heard the song 15 step by radiohead you know that there's a glitchy drum machine in the intro it's very unpredictable you you don't really know what's going on with it so i wanted to replicate that but make it a bit more pop Try trying to be a little experimental but you know keep, keep it Keep it home, keep it close to home. So first layer are these samples right here. Sounds very simple, right? But then you get this stuff right here. So how I achieved this is that I laid down this pattern right here. You'll hear it without the effects. When you put it like that, it doesn't sound so crazy. But then I auto pan the hi-hat so you hear it go it from left to right constantly. Then I added some saturation and a delay. So if we add it slowly, you hear the panning of the hi-hats and then you saturate it. Sounds nice and crisp. And then you add the delay and it's bouncing all around, you know when you mix it up with the main drums right when you when you know where it's coming from it doesn't sound that crazy but i feel like if you've never heard the song and you just hear that for the first time it's kind of like whoa like what the hell's going on here and i added another layer it's just those two tracks playing at the same time and i just compressed the hell out of it and eq'd it a little bit and it's just to give it a bit more texture in the beginning When you go outside of the intro, that's when you find the acoustic drums. The acoustic drums are playing the same pattern as the first one. And all of them together sound like this. See how the acoustic drums bring out the, the atmosphere? It feels a bit more organic and it feels, I think, a bit more energetic so the interesting thing about this song is that it's a loop it's constantly playing and constantly switching up but it's always the same chords it's always the same vibe it doesn't it's not too out there you know i really wanted to emphasize the pop aspect of it i wanted to write a simple and catchy but at the same time interesting and a bit experimental type of song so we can cover the bass verse because there's not a lot going on there it's just this the synths so same deal as the other songs i usually tend to uh, layer up a bunch of tracks together so it makes this full sound so first layer is this one second layer the third one is very subtle but everything adds up in the end 
then I got a lower note to give it some, you know, body. And all of it together sounds like this. Next, we got the plugs. I don't know where this idea came from, but I just wanted, I wouldn't call it a counter melody, but kind of like something harmonizing with the main synth melody. It sounds like this. And I think the unexpected thing here would be an acoustic guitar. I don't know why I wanted to add an acoustic guitar. It came to me, I tried it out and it sounded good. So here's how it sounds. So yeah, for the verse, I just cut a lot of it off for it to make room for the vocals. I'm running to save my life. That's what I've been told Honestly, I don't know what that means But even they don't know Very straightforward, I think this um, it's the cleanest my voice sounds in any of the songs Maybe, maybe the last song is the exception, but I think for the rest of the album my vocals tend to be very processed. So yeah, you basically get that for the whole first verse and then you reincorporate like most of the things I already introduced in the chorus, except for this, the chance, the running. You can see all these takes right here. That's me just doing different types of voices to make it sound like a crowd. All of it together sounds like this. Running, running, running. Clearly you can tell it's my voice but it, it does sound like it's it's coming from like this big stadium, you know? So let's hear some of the tracks. Running. Regular voice. Running. Whispery. Running. Higher pitched. Running. Lower voice. Running. And yeah, after that, you just add some compression, some distortion and EQ and reverb, and you get this. Running. Don't wanna keep it running, don't wanna keep it running, don't wanna keep it running in this pointless race. Then we move to the second verse, and same thing. This song is very simple. I just keep adding and subtracting from the track, but it's all the same chords, same type of vibe, same tempo. Nothing really changes that much. I would say the second verse is probably the the one that stands out because I take away like the acoustic guitar and the main synthesizers and it sounds a bit empty but at the same time is a breath of fresh air. I'm so wondering what comes after the famous the newest thing that I add in terms of synths is this one. And I kn I've noticed this in like revisiting the tracks is that I will do this thing where I just add like a random, like a weird sounding synthesizer just for the sake of it, just to keep it going. And for the vocals is when I start adding backing vocals because through the verses up until this point, it's it's been just the main vocal. But I want it to be, you know, experimental. So I started adding a bunch of effects. Funny enough, if you listen to the song, you probably won't notice any of these details. So the first backing vocal. Well, every day the sun's gotta hit the ground. See what I mean? It, it sounds ugly, but I, I just I just wanted to do that. I was like, man, like, I, I, I don't know, bro. <laughs> and then we got this one. I remember feeling so good about like, oh my God, I'm using like a bunch of auto-tune on myself. Like I'd done that for other artists, but never for myself. Now you got all these voices accompanying the, the main vocal. I don't want to keep it running. Don't want to keep it running. Don't want to keep it running in this pointless race. It's all to make it thicker and make it stand out a little bit more. And I added this just to, you know, keep it interesting, keep it moving. Don't want to keep it running. It's literally just that and talking about how the song evolves and how you keep it interesting this is one of the first things i recorded when i was making the demo cool and that's 
the chord. I feel like we're moving on pretty quickly, but that's how simple and straightforward this song is. We get to the bridge and it's all same stuff that we heard before. We just got this spoken word type of thing going on. I'm standing here on the edge of the abyss. Going up. Okay, you, you heard that delay right there, right? So let's listen to the whole bridge to only the vocals. So you can actually listen and appreciate all the effects that I left there that I know a lot of people are not gonna notice when they listen to the actual song. I'm standing here on the edge of the abyss, go number when I think about the scale of everything. And I know deep inside that despair is part of me, but as vertigo comes, it leaves the desire and need so to keep coming back every day without a doubt. Gotta think about how nonsensical everything just gotta tell me. Who do you think is gonna win when you're back down? Cause nature's just a bitch, so try to find your peace of mind. Because Voila. If you notice any of those things when you were first listening to the song without me telling you right now, from the bottom of my heart, I thank you and I appreciate you. Then in the final chorus, like I've been saying throughout the whole video, it's more of the same. I don't think I had anything new besides a few more layers of vocals. So now I introduce these. <laughs> And then we'll hear the final bit of the vocals. Then I reach the end. Then I reach the end. Coming back. To be fair, when I was doing the arrangement, I didn't know what to add to the end of the song, so I just I just took this the same um, vocal take from the bridge. And I just looped it and pitched it down. So it sounds like this. Coming back every day without a doubt. Gotta think about how nonsensical everything just got and to keep nonsensical everything just got, 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 got. Yeah, that's Pointless Race. Yeah, this song has like not a lot going on, but at the same time, I think that's the beauty of it. You know, you sometimes have very complex pieces of music that you really dive in and appreciate but in in this case it was totally intentional i wanted to make something catchy i wanted to make something easy digestible but at the same time uh keep it interesting so yeah that was the video like i said on the last one i'll be doing these kinds of videos for every single one of the tracks of my new album which again is called daydreaming and it's available on all streaming platforms you can listen to it up here or you can go to the link in the description so you can listen to it wherever you want. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified when the next video comes out. And yeah, my name is Clancy and I really hope that you like this video. I'll go to sleep right now because it's already 1.22 a.m. Thank you so much for listening and take care.